Hello, Hello everybody. everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? God loves you today. Hi everyone, this is the faith that we share with Pastor Care. Today we're going to do some review. So I'm going to ask you, and Jocelyn and Brayden, Emerson and Ella, Owen, Wesley, anybody who's out there, do you remember who made the world and everything in it? God did. God made butterflies, God made bees, God made trees, God made us. So that's the first thing. God was the creator. We call that creation. God created everything. A book that we learn about God and Jesus is the Bible. The Bible tells us many stories about God and Jesus. Today we're going to tell one of them to you. Who can remember what prayer is? What is prayer? Prayer is when we talk to God, when we talk to God, and we can talk to God anytime, any place, we can hold our hands any way. We'll also pray later today. And here's the real big one. God loves you, you know that. But does God love you even when you're naughty? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. God loves us even when we're naughty. And moms and dads are naughty sometimes too. So it's important for us to remember that God loves us. Now today we're going to tell a story about when Jesus lived on the earth. Remember that I told you he lived a long time ago. This story is told in the Bible. And one day Jesus had been teaching his friends and his followers for many hours. Jesus was really tired. And people had to walk to see Jesus because remember, there were no cars or boats or planes then. So people had walked and walked and walked. They sat on the grass and listened as Jesus talked to them. And then Jesus went back to where he was staying to rest. Well, some parents had come with children just like you. They wanted Jesus to bless their children. That means to give them good things. And Jesus' friends said to the parents, No, go home and come back another day. Jesus is too tired. And the parents argued a little bit. We walked all this way. Our feet are tired. Our children are sore. We need to see Jesus. And his friends said, No, go home. Jesus is too tired. So very sadly, the parents and their kids turned around and started to walk away. And then they heard a voice. The voice said, wait, come back. And they looked, and it was Jesus. Jesus was standing there, and he welcomed the children into his arms, and he played games with them, and he hugged them, and he talked to them, and he loved them, and he blessed them. And Jesus said, Little children are the most important part of my kingdom. Now here's the funny part about that. Little children are the most important part of the kingdom of God. They still are. But even grown-ups are little children to God. So we, the people that God created, and the children that God made, are the most important parts to him and of him and of his kingdom. So I want you to remember that you're a very important part of the kingdom of God. And Jesus took the time, even when he was tired, to play with children and to love them. So that's our Bible story for today. It's called Jesus and the Little Children. If you have a story Bible at home, you can look at that and you'll find that story in there. It's one of my favorite stories in the New Testament. So now let's close the faith that we share with Pastor Care by saying a prayer. Today, let's put our hands like this. When we put our hands like this, we're also asking for God to fill us with blessings. So let's say, hello, God. Hello, hello God. God. Thank you for hearing us. Thank, Thank you, you for hearing us. us. Please help our world. Please, Please help, help our world. world. And help us have a happy day. And help, help us, us have, have a happy, happy day. day. Thank you for loving us. Thank, Thank you, you for loving us. us. We love you. We, we love, love you. you. Amen. Amen.